Hi, I'm Tanner Emke, lead economist for grains and oil seeds at CoBank's Knowledge Exchange Division. After two years of inverted futures markets, global supplies of corn and soybeans are abundant. This has significantly improved grain elevators' profit outlook for storage. Elevators are now able to buy cheaper basis and benefit from bigger carries in futures. Farmers, though, have been reluctant to sell because prices of corn and soybeans have fallen sharply from their peaks earlier this year. Because of slow farmer selling, elevators are charging higher rates on storage or using delayed pricing, or DP. This allows farmers to deliver grain to the elevator now and price the commodity later. Trading DP bushels, though, comes with challenges. Although the elevator technically owns these bushels, shipping unpriced bushels is risky since basis could tighten on DP bushels that are already sold, resulting in a loss if the elevator did not sufficiently charge for the service. The big wild card that could affect carrying basis is the U.S. corn and soybean export program, which could be awakened by a poor South American harvest, a surprise resurgence of Chinese demand, a return to more normal water levels on the Mississippi River, and weakness in the U.S. dollar. A bigger South American crop, though, would likely result in widening of carries and basis for elevators. To learn more, read my report at cobank.com.